thing I do have is a skull mode. <laughs> is a skull mold. Uh, is a skull mold. Do you love fancy flakes? Me too. But they're expensive. I was on Wendy's channel. Wendy at Toonpish. And she had like the Aurora flakes. I think they were from the Tiny Turner. And she was saying they're not plastic. They're not glass. And me being me jumped into her comments and told her that I was pretty sure they just painted like regular mica flakes. If you use mica powder then you've used mica flakes because this is how they all start their life. A bit of a controversial subject. We won't get into it. If you're gonna play around with this stuff be careful. You know I went through so many different versions of coloring these. I, I threw everything at it that I could think of, like clear coat and interference and chameleons and alcohol inks and you name it, I did it. And I have a bunch of those and I will probably eventually use them on the channel at some point, but finally I landed at this concoction, which was just taking like some iridescent paint, mixing it all up, laying it out. And then hitting it with some alcohol ink and I just let it dry. But I also made a bunch of colors just using the iridescent paints. I have them around here somewhere. I'll show them to you if you want. And so, well, I'm not claiming that these are Aurora Flakes. This is, it's pretty darn close. I have a, a book mold. This one. The book box. The box book. You you, you may have seen it in my other video. You, you probably didn't. You weren't, you weren't watching it, but it was pretty fun. I like that one. I still have it. We'll do, we'll do the book box again and we'll, I don't know, I'll make it cute. I don't know. I like, I keep, I feel like the best thing to do this on is a frog, but I'm not doing another frog. I just, I can't. But one thing I do have is a skull mold. Do you know how many times I just had to do a retake on that? Or crying out loud. Anyhow, I have a skull mold. <laughs> and we'll do that one. I think we can get something cool with that, but I have to do it in a few layers because it's it's too deep. And I don't have any of that deep pouring stuff. Let's get some resin mixed up. We'll just we'll just have a play. Alright? Alright. I don't know what happened there. We stopped recording, as usual. I don't know if I caught it, but I put some blue and yellow on there. Bubbles. This mold, watch this mold, because the bubbles get trapped in the corner. It's a little pain in the ass. See them right there? Boop. I'm burp you. Get out. Get out. With these types of molds, you really do want to make sure you get those bubbles out because it could just ruin the whole thing. Trust me, I know. The skull. We're going to do the skull. We're doing the skull and we're doing the book. But the skull needs a few layers, so we're going to just get some in here for now. And then we'll come back later with more. Alright, now, back to this. Okay. Excuse my voice, I'm a little raspy. I went to a concert the other night and I was woo-wooing because, <laughs> you know, it's my favorite band. And contrary to what you may think, it wasn't Taylor Swift. I wish. I wish. No, it's my favorite band, which is Counting Crows, which I may have mentioned. Or not. I don't know. You know, I've made enough videos at this point that I'm starting to forget what I've said in my videos. Somebody left a comment and they said, that thing you said at the end, I really needed to hear that. And I'm like, huh? You really have to like, give yourself permission to fail. To quote Miss Taylor Swift. That's how we grow, right? That's how we get better. <laughs> I had no clue. No clue. I had to go back and watch it. And then, of course, you go back and watch your old videos and it's cringe time. Yeah, cringe city. 
Of course, I kind of cringe when I watch my new videos, too, but, eh. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, that's green. Oh, well, anyway. Close enough. I know you were wanting to see the whole rainbow. We could potentially do that in the little skull, dude. It's be hard, but I could do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I did try it out where I put some of them in the grinder, but I just don't think the color was saturated enough. Once I, I ground them down, they kind of just took on their default white-ish, pinky. I don't know. It wasn't good. I have them. I'll probably use it. It's basically just powder at this point, mica powder. I wonder if any of these are going to sink. Maybe I should push some of them down. I think I should. I probably should, huh? We will. We'll push some of them down. Don't worry. I really should plan these things out better, but... You know, once I start thinking about it, I go in so many different directions that I, I can't land. Like, I've got to just, just sit down and start shoving stuff in, because I... I'll never land. These are stunningly beautiful. I don't know if you can see them. And I am hoping, hoping this will work and look pretty. Because from this angle, it's stunning. But, you know, this angle isn't that angle. So, we'll see. You never know until you flip them over and see what you got. This whole video idea has been an adventure, I'm going to tell you. you. You may have seen a short that I ran recently, Abandoned Projects, I called it. It's basically all my test runs for the flakes. And, you know, the, the flakes were fine. It was the molds. The molds were not fine. Look at the back side of them, isn't it crazy yeah. looking? These are so pretty. I hope they don't just all fall to the bottom. They might. Whatever. I meant it to be that way. I better save some for the top. It's like, I can make more, but this is a pretty custom blend. Like, I don't know if I could get them to look the same. And that's sort of what you're going to be paying for when you buy them from different creators or sellers. You're getting custom blends. Especially, like, from the Tiny Turner. Because she's, she's not just doing this or just doing that. She's doing a lot of stuff. Or they. I, I don't know if it's a they or a single person, but... That's just my take from it. What I know about, funny enough, the cosmetics industry, which runs pretty parallel. You know what they say, same shit, different pile. Yeah, that's how it is. This thing's kind of warped, you see that? I'm gonna have to like push this bad boy in and just keep it there while it cures. Spread them around a little bit. Try not to get the blue and the yellow to invade each other too much. Just stay in your spot. You go there, you go there. You guys can dance, but you can't co-mingle. And just so we know, like that little thing of mica flakes crossed like, I bought, like, a big jar of it. I don't have it around here, but I had a big jar of it. It was, like, $10. Of course, I found it cheaper in bags, so I did that, because, you know, I'm cheap. And, yes, I'm going to pick up every one of these off the table and save them, because they're beautiful. I don't want to waste them. 
you know, that's the thing about it. Whenever you buy fancy flakes, you can't really do a whole lot with them because they cost too much. And you get a little teeny tiny container. It sucks. But with this, you could just... Like, if I wanted to go make more, I could. It wouldn't take me very long. I'm not going to because I have a ton that I've made. I have so many. I didn't know I was going to be living for this yellow one, though. It's beautiful. I'm sorry if my hand's in the way. I mean, I'm just sprinkling shit onto the resin. Why don't you just fast forward to the end, bruh? You don't even have to watch this. Nobody's making you stay here. Go. Just go. You know you want to. Do it. Fast forward. Go. <laughs> you get a lot of people who will tell you that they like your long videos. And maybe they do. It's valid, but all of the statistics and stuff tell you differently. Unless you have the sleep algorithm. In fact, if you want to drop a comment and say, this is a good sleep video, I won't stop you. Go ahead. I'll trigger that little Google bot. I'm getting green in there. Ugh. Oh, green. Crap. I promise not to take my markers to this whole business. Even though I could. I could if I wanted to. These blues are just so pretty. It's like just all over the place. And the thing to keep in mind is that I, I use like an iridescent paint with these. And so it's kind of what's given them like, like the color shift. I don't know if you can see the color shift, but they definitely have one. No matter what medium you're working in, like yellow and blue, they're hard to get to dance together because obviously you'll get green if you're not careful. It's true with paint and markers and even little flakies because if they layer on top of each other, that's what you're going to get. This makes it a little bit easier to control that, but... And hey, nothing wrong with green. I love green. <laughs> My fingers are getting all sticky. Oh, that's not good. I need to, I need to hose off. That's purple. Huh? That's purple. I don't think that's good. Big old blob of purple in the middle. Okay, purple. You're, you're dejected. Yeah, I'll just push purple into the, 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 yeah. There we go. Stick it in the rim. It's like a little Easter egg. Like a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't have got no bubbles in there. I feel like we're gonna have a ton of bubbles in there. <laughs> I need to go get my torch. I've exhausted the yellow, so that's it. That's it. It's gonna have to be good now. Leave that. I'll leave the skull. I'm gonna let this cure. I'm gonna shove it up against my thing over here so it doesn't get all warped. It's been a couple hours. I want to get down the second layer of resin before that completely cures. Otherwise, it'll cause one of those weird lines. We don't need a weird line. I'll come back in here in a little bit. We'll put the flakes in. And we'll back that with black. And that should do it. Alright. We'll be back. Let's, let's do a rainbow. I think what I'm going to do is just put some UV down. Since this is clear, the light will go through. So we shouldn't have any issues. And you're probably thinking, hey, why don't you use your builder gel? I totally could do that. I just made this mold from a, like a crystal skull. Do we have tweezers? I mean, I have tweezers, but I just... Where are they? That's, that's the question. Uh, I probably shouldn't be using such big chunks of the flakes, but you know. 
I'm lazy. We've we've been through this. You know this. I know this. It is what it is. Hey, are we gonna do this? Get some tweezers. Cause, yeah, a lot easier. Um, I have some, but you know, craft room being like it is. Oh, these are so pretty. I can't stop saying how pretty they are because they are stunning. Oopsie. Hey, you, you get back over there. You don't. You gotta stay over here in your spot. You gotta stay in your lane, Green. I love rainbows. Do you love rainbows? I see the yellow gap right there, huh? I don't think it's gonna matter much. Gaps, like this is just, this is all just gonna shine up from the bottom. But I'll come fill it in with some stuff later. We're just gonna get her done and then move on. You don't have too much yellow, so we're gonna have to have kind of an orangey. An orangey yellow. I used all my yellow in a different project. Oh no, I mean, I used all my yellow in the book. Ugh. I mean, whether you're going for a rainbow or, or just like the idea of a rainbow, like the important thing is you make the colors gradiate. If you go put colors together that aren't you know, neighborly, then you sort of just get a, a jumbled color look and not, not a rainbow. It's, it's not a rainbow, I'm sorry. And there's probably going to be people to come along and tell me this isn't a rainbow, to which I will tell you, I know. All of my flakes are getting mixed up over here on the paper. Let's just finish it with this color. Yeah, we'll do that. How blue get in there? I think I'm gonna push these up. I'm gonna push this whole bit up and then put a little bit more blue in. Because we have a lot of blue over here. So that's all we're doing. was supposed to be a lighter green, but whatever. My colors are getting too mixed up. These are fun. These are so much fun. Let's see if I can show you this because it's beautiful. See a few gaps that I've missed, so I'm probably going to just hold it up to the light and come and fill them in. But we'll, we'll do this and we'll finish the book and we'll do some stuff and be good. All right. Okay, we're back. I got some black mixed up. I'm just going to top this bad boy off. And call this one a wrap. This guy off to the side. It's funny because I made that mold on a not level table. If I fill it on this same not level table, it all you know balances out. Good stuff. Get our black on here. Hopefully, we have enough for the lid. I should really put those flakes away. I will. I will. Don't worry about it. Mind your business, okay? Oh, 
Okay, we're back. I went ahead and mixed all these up. I'll save them for a future project. The pictures don't really do these justice. They have a beautiful color shift to them. I used like a, you know, an iridescent paint that had like gold interference in it, which I could have just added that myself, but it was kind of, as I was playing with this whole thing, I was, you know, stuff's flying around and all that. I thought this was kind of the, the path of least resistance to use the paint because then it locks everything in there. So anyway, on to the main event. Did it work? Hell yeah, it did. It is stunning. And Jenny, if you're watching this, no. No, you can't have it. It's got a few bubbles in it. I need to get some deep pour resin. I had to do this in a couple of layers. And if you're new and you don't do all this, like you, you need to, if you're going to do this kind of stuff, or if we're going to do this kind of stuff, because I know some of you are out there that don't, don't do this, but you still watch the videos. When we do this kind of stuff, if, if we don't use resin that's specifically for deep pouring, then it'll end up with a ton of bubbles. So, and this is like something going on with my mold. I made this mold, but I, I don't care. Do you care? No. Does Jenny, do you think Jenny's going to care? No. Hell no, but she, Jenny ain't getting it, so forget you. Forget you, lady. In the book. Uh, I don't love the book, and I'm telling you, it's because it's got that clear going on there. Like, I should have, I should have kind of suspended them better in the middle. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't, I don't love it. kind of want to add something to it, but at the same time I don't because it's very pretty. I don't know. Anyway. So what's the big takeaway here? Well, I mean, if you see something that somebody's doing and you want to do it, then find a way to make it happen. Even if you have to fake it. Make it till you make it. <laughs> On that note, we got this far into the video. As always, appreciate you watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you tried something. Till next time, folks.